Hey all, it's Glam Gamer back in. In today's video, we are doing another Steam reaction. So this is for the game called Sky Children of Light. This was another game that I was supposed to um, go over like two weeks ago <laughs> or a week and a half ago. I pulled the information for this game um, definitely a while ago. This game launched on April 10th, so I was trying to get the information pulled so I could review it sooner rather than later, but my surgery was the same day this game launched, so I had some setbacks. So we're catching up. This game is cute. So it says Sky Children of the Light is a peaceful, award winning MMO from the creators of Journey, and I loved Journey. I own Journey. Jason bought it for me. It was such a cute story. Um, I think it took me a whole hour to complete Journey, maybe two maximum. So, and of course, Jason joined me in it. So it says, explore a beautifully animated kingdom across seven realms and create enriching memories with other players in this delightful puzzle adventure game, which I love the story in Journey as well. So this has 2,943 very positive reviews. The release date was April 10th, 2024. This is early access. And it says the developer and the publisher is the gaming company. Uh, early access, MMO, RPG, cozy, indie, and relaxing. And this looks right up my alley. I am definitely going to install this because it is free to play. So just like the art style with Journey, it's very similar with the scarf and everything. Um, I don't know if this is like a extension of Journey or not, um, but it does talk about the spirits and the ancestors. So it's kind of like a Native American kind of based spirituality game, which I really loved about the, the first game as well, was just how heartwarming and story driven the other game was. Um, I really enjoyed it. So if you want to see me play Journey again, it's been ages since I've played it, let me know. I'll be happy to replay that and record it. Um, this looks super cute. Oh no, negative reviews. Okay, let's go watch the video. Let's see, there's two there. Okay, there's two total, so we'll, see, we'll watch these. So that was the first one. Let's do the second one. This one's a little longer. It's like the temples from Journey. Uh -oh. Alright, 
let's look at some of these photos that is really pretty and again that is the same kind of like artwork and art style and stuff from journey oops i didn't click the other thing so this is from journey when you found these you would usually find these like they look like um those chinese ticket looking things they they have like little wishes or something on them during like the Chinese moon festivals and stuff. Uh, that's what they remind me of. But you would usually find them in somewhere that looks like this on in Journey. And then as you collected those little ticket things, your scarf grew. And as you had a, the longer your scarf was, the more resilient you were to like the elements and stuff like that. So. They're using little capes to fly. Uh oh, that looks like that looks like one of those monsters that was in Journey. Except for the ones in Journey were like terrifying because they used like this little centerpiece on their face to like hunt you down in this like cavern thing. And it wouldn't just like go up and down the aisle. It would like go in and out of all the columns and stuff. And you're in there trying to like hide from it, but also like progress and move. And needless to say, it 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 scared me. <laughs> Freaking snowboarding. Aww. This is so freaking cute. Yeah, in Journey they had like these little capes and then you had your scarf. And like I said, as you collected those little Chinese ticket things, um, it would like, the scarf would grow and it would allow you like more resistances to nature and stuff like that. So let's see what some of these... Um, yeah, it says I have 3.9 hours on Journey. I've played through Journey twice. So, again, I, I'll be happy to replay it um, and record the footage if you guys want to do that. I know I had some live streams of it up somewhere. It's probably on my main channel. If you guys want to go go back and look for those. Art style is almost identical. Alright, so let's see. This person has one hour on record. Maybe there's a lovely experience to be had here, but the amount of conflicting design choices and railroading through the intro is making that experience hard to get into. For the game that offers the ultimate concept of freedom, I felt held back at every step. Guides saying exactly where to go, cutscenes frequently taking control away. At the first area of exploration, I was immediately met with a roadblock for straying off the path being forced to backtrack, which immediately discouraged exploration instead of rewarding it. Journey was kind of like that too. You could explore to a certain extent, but you really kind of had to stay on, on task. Um, and if this is supposed to be an MMO, I can understand how that would be frustrating. It says, perhaps this would be have been more forgivable if the character was more fun to move around. The physics-based movement makes sense for playing with wind and gravity, but in practice it felt unresponsive and chaotic. While the simplistic aesthetic is pleasing to the eye, it seems to be at odds with the relative, relatively complicated gameplay systems and lore. Without any spoken words, the frequent text feels incredibly invasive. The lore itself seems fine enough, but in presentation, in presentation suffers from being too focused on what's come before and what's yet to come instead of letting the player be in the present moment. And I think the same can be said for the music, expecting the player to already be swept up in the emotion before giving them a chance to be. The notion of restoring light to the world is, a re is relatable enough to drive players forward on their own without needing to spell it out and make you feel legendary from the first step. I'm not going to read most of this, but it says willing to experience it, but game crashes like every 10 minutes. That one has 0.4 hours on record. This one has 2.6 hours. This game, a whole bunch of hearts. Oh, probably fucking sucks. No, no skip cutscenes. And whenever me slash my friend join, we got separated and have to rejoin and watch the same cutscene again. Spent the whole time trying to find each other instead of playing the game because the game kept separating us. And after the game closed, I could still hear the game slash song environment sound somehow. Well, that's creepy. This one says this game is cute. I recommend playing it with a friend because more puzzles, most puzzles require two people. So I will definitely be picking this up. Um, 
I'll probably go ahead and, and pick it up now after I get done recording so that I have it. Um, and then if you guys want to see a video on this and see me play through it, um, and then Jason, I'll probably talk Jason into picking it up because again, he's the one that got Journey first and then sent me Journey. So, um, and I really enjoyed Journey. So maybe we can, you know, play this one too and let you guys see what it looks like and then see if some of the, the reviews and stuff were accurate. And then that way I have my own experiences that we can compare and contrast. But leave your thoughts down below. I will definitely be picking this up. Um, I really liked their, their other game. I don't even know. Let me click and see. Do they have more than one game? Okay, so they've got Journey, Sky, Children of Light, Flower, Journey and Flower Bundle. So there's a couple of games. I guess I'll... I'll have to review this one. Um, let me put it on my wish list that way I can remember to come back to it. So anyways, um, leave your thoughts down below. Is this something that you would be interested in playing? Would you like to see me do some more gameplay of Journey and then this one? Um, those are videos that I can work on or I'll add it to my to-do list and leave your thoughts down below. I will see you guys in another video very soon. Have a fantabulous day or night wherever you are.